Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. Today we will be configuring ERGRP authentication, and we'll also take the chance our ERGRP basic configuration skills. So looking at the requirements list, we will have to enable ERGRP on all routers and all interfaces. Make sure we use viable LAN subnet masks. We'll also have to configure MD5 authentication on all the links. And finally, make sure that we still have end-to-end -end IP connectivity. So let's get started on router 1. Show IP protocols to see if ERGIP is already configured. It's not. So router ERGRP 100 disable auto summary that enables VLSM enable ERGRP on all interfaces so that would be network 10.0.0.0 network 1.0.0.0 and network 11.0.0.0 for the loopback interfaces now let's do the same thing on router 2 and 3 so router 2 try IP protocols configure terminal router ERGRP 100 no auto summary network 10.0.0.0.0 network 2.0.0.0 and network 22.0.0.0 and we see that our neighborship with router 1 is already up. Let's continue with router 3. Show IP protocols. Router EIG. Router EIGRP 100. No auto. And network 10.0.0.0. Network 3.0.0.0 and network 33.0.0.0. Okay, our neighborship with router 1 is already up. Let's check the IP routes. Show IP route ERGRP. Okay, so we have routes for the whole internet network. Let's try to ping router 1's loopback interface. Ping 1.1.1.1 and we have end to end IP connectivity. Now let's configure authentication. The first step when configuring authentication is to create the keychain. So we do that with the command keychain. We name it Cisco, define the key number to be used and the actual key to the key string that's this coin capital then jump to the particular interface and enable authentication to so interface facitonet 0 0 start by defining which mode would be used we may only use the MD5 mode but we still have to define it to tell the router to use MD5 for authentication Type the commands IP authentication mode, then ERGRP, the IS number, and the mode MD5. While the MD5, the IS number was 100. Okay, so notice that we lost our neighborship. Next, we tell the router which key to use on that particular interface. We do that with the command IP authentication keychain ERGRP the IS number and the name of the keychain. Okay, so let's jump on router 2. We have some interesting messages and the fourth message is very interesting since it tells us what the problem is. Okay, let's continue and enable authentication on router 2. Same story, we define the key chain. Key chain, we name it Cisco key number one and the key string 
Cisco in capital. Let's apply authentication to the interfaces. Let's start with Fast one slash zero, connecting to router three. Interface Fast one slash zero. IP authentication mode EIGRP 100MD5 and IP authentication keychain EIGRP 100 and the keychain and the neighborship is back up now let's apply it to Fastenet 00 connecting to router 1 Well, it's the same command, so I'll just paste them again. The mold MD5, and then the keychain Cisco. Now let's finish on router 1. Step 1 define the keychain, keychain Cisco, key number 1, and key string Cisco. And that's to be applied on Fast Ethernet 00 interface. Fast Ethernet 00. IP authentication mode ERGRP 100MD5. And IP authentication keychain ERGRP 100 Cisco. Great. Our neighborship is back up. Let's have a look at the show IP protocol command. Show IP protocols. Okay, so now we see that we have ERGRP enabled for, for AS100. It's also enabled on all interfaces. Show IP ERGRP neighbors. And we have a full neighborship with router 2. Show IP route EIGRP EIGRP and on router 1 we see the routes advertised by router 3 and router 2 let's try to ping router 3's loopback interface 33.33.33.33 and that's working so we now have authentication and end-to-end -end IP connectivity thank you for watching